Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, May 12th, 2020, and today is day number 36 of Mr. Donley Reads. So yesterday we read a really fun book, it was called The Watermelon Seed, and written by Greg Pizzoli. Today we're going to read another really good book, it's called Jumpy Jack and Googly, and it's written by Meg Rozoff and Sophie Blackall. So let's get into it and find out what's going on with Jumpy Jack and Googly. Jumpy Jack and Googly by Meg Rozoff and Sophie Blackall. I'm nervous, said Jumpy Jack to his best friend Googly. There could be a monster nearby and I'm scared of monsters. Don't be ridiculous, said Googly. There might be a monster behind that tree, said Jumpy Jack. Now, now, said Googly, you are very silly to worry. Perhaps I am, said Jumpy Jack, but I would be grateful if you would check, just to be sure. No monsters here, said Googly, or here, Whew, said Jumpy Jack. I think he earned that name, Jumpy Jack, if he's so scared. Uh-oh, said Jumpy Jack, there might be a monster in the tool shed. It might have sharp teeth and horrible, scary hair. I don't know where you get your ideas, said Googly. Nonetheless, said Jumpy Jack, I would appreciate it if you would check, just to be absolutely certain. No monsters here, said Googly. Whew, said Jumpy Jack. Oh my, said Jumpy Jack. There might be a monster in that paddling pool. It might pop up all of a sudden and smile a dreadful smile and make bug eyes at me. Dear, oh dear, said Googly, what an imagination you have. All the same, said Jumpy Jack, I would feel better if you would check just to be safe. Boy, he's a scaredy cat, isn't he? No monsters here, said Googly, or here said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster behind the door, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster with two fingers on each hand who stares at me through the letterbox and sticks out its awful tongue? Ah, oh, Jumpy Jack, said Googly, you must realize that will never happen. Of course not, said Jumpy Jack, but I would feel a great deal better if you would check just in case. I wonder what he's describing there. Two fingers on each hand, who stares at me through the letterbox and sticks out its awful tongue. Hmm, two fingers on each hand, huh? No monsters here, said Googly, or here, Whew, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster under the table, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster with long, thin feet that jumps out from under the table and frightens me so much I nearly faint? <laughs> said Googly. Now you really have gone too far. Maybe so, said Jumpy Jack, but if you could check, I would be extremely grateful. No monsters here, said Googly. Or here, whew, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster under the bed, said Jumpy Jack. It might be wearing terrible short trousers and a bowler hat and wait until I'm almost asleep, then leap out with an alarming tooth grinding noise and give me the most dreadful fright. So I have to climb out of the window and run away like the wind. Jumpy Jack, said Googly, that is simply too far fetched. No doubt, said Jumpy Jack. Still, if you would only check, I'm sure I would sleep better. No monsters here, said Googly. Or here, Whew, said Jumpy Jack. Let's go to sleep. Jumpy Jack, whispered Googly. Oh, I can't sleep. Why not, asked Jumpy Jack. I thought I heard a sock under the bed. I'm extremely frightened of socks. Socks? Come on, Googly. Boo, said the sock. 
That's it. Jumpy Jack and Googly. It's written by Meg Rozoff and Sophie Blackall. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.